Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this year we celebrate 25 years since the adoption of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action. This year, we also entered the final decade of action towards the implementation of the SDGs, including SDG 5, on achieving gender equality and empowering all women and girls. Today's summit takes place in unprecedented times and against the backdrop of a devastating health and economic crisis. With the ongoing global pandemic, we have all experienced the stresses on our economic resources. We have also witnessed the amplification of negative social impacts and deepening of pre-existing inequalities leading to further exposure of the most vulnerable. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, Seychelles' progression in implementing policies to achieve gender equality goals by 2030 has not been halted. My government continues to place the social and economic empowerment of women and girls at the forefront of its policies. To date, we have achieved great improvement across every sphere, from health to economy, from security to social protection. As a strategic measure, governmental priorities have been realigned with redirection of funds to provide assistance to the most vulnerable of the population. Government has continued to finance our social welfare program, where a significant increase in requests has been noted. 54% of the requests has been from women. Government has also alleviated the burden on families by reducing by 25% housing loan repayments. Where necessary, food assistance is currently given at the district level, where two thirds of those assisted are women. The country believes totally in women's economic empowerment. And similar to many countries of the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, COMESA, I recently launched the national platform of the 50 million African Women Speak platform. This provides Seychelles women with access to more economic opportunities, training and mentoring opportunities in a virtual manner with fellow women on the African continent and beyond. Seychelles recognizes the urgency to protect the rights of girls and women in all aspects of our society. When our girls and women are in vulnerable settings, economically disadvantaged and socially isolated, they may and will become easy targets of those who prey on the difficult situations. My country, as an African island state, attaches great importance to achieving greater gender equality and remain focused on the quest to eliminating the barriers both local and international, that hinder the achievement of SDG 5. We remain firm in our commitment to add our voices to all efforts to defend, promote, and protect the rights of girls and women. As leaders of the world, we are called upon to double our efforts in changing the prejudice about women and girls. Let us be reminded that they play a central role in the development of our societies and they are on their own merit at the heart of resilience and recovery. I thank you.